Hey guys, Logan here. So we're gonna take another look at this electric moped that I've decided to build myself. Here it is. Now we're getting very close to completion and I'm actually really excited. So let me just go over a few more things, what we've done and what the plan is for this thing. Moped, and I took all the plastics, the engine, everything off. I actually have the old engine and rear wheel sitting right here. So I've got two other videos on my channel of where I took all these parts off. And then I just started welding this thing back together from scratch. So these are the original handlebars, the original fork and front wheel with a hydraulic brake and the frame, of course. Now, the engine was basically the rear end of the bike and it had its own suspension. But just for this to be fun, I wanted to make it a hard tail. So I kind of built a V-frame here welded on a piece of threaded rod, did my best to make everything straight, and I added a go-kart wheel. Now, this is the old license plate from the original moped. It's not mine, so I don't care if I show you the number. Yes, I do live in Oregon, but I don't mind saying that. Now, I've got a 41 slash 420 type of sprocket on here with a drum brake, and I'm hoping to put a drum brake system on here to use the original rear brake cable that's mechanical so I have a rear brake, because right now I only have a front brake. Now, today I just finished mounting the electric motor that I ordered straight from China. I got it off AliExpress for about $270. It is a 72 volt, 3000 watt motor. So the plan is to have this sprocket go to a jack shaft, which converts, which will have a different set of sprockets to go to this wheel. Now, part of that is because this is a t different type of sprocket than what's on the wheel, and I was too lazy to change it. The second part is that having a jack shaft will let me change the gear ratios a bit more easily, because I'm not exactly sure what's going to work with this size tire, the weight of this, ve of this vehicle, etc., etc. I'm going to have... I already have the controller in here, obviously, and most of the wiring is already done. And I still need to build a battery, so I'll show you my progress on that. But I'll probably have the battery in here, and then one lower down here just to keep the center of gravity good. I also have my front light, which apparently my switch has burnt out. But I do have the original moped battery down there to power it. We also have the electric throttle, which I need to tighten down just with one little screw. And that will show my voltage readout, allow me to use a key and everything. In the United States, you can actually convert any vehicle to electric without needing to go through testings or actually change anything on the title. Now, I've done a lot of modification to this, obviously, but it'll be really interesting to see if I can go to the DMV, get a new plate, and ride this thing around without getting in too serious of trouble. So the rear wheel that I used is smaller than the front wheel. It's going to have a lot of torque. I've rolled this thing down hills, it's got really good handling, but we'll see how exactly it turns out. It's definitely going to be a bumpier ride without rear, rear suspension, but that also means easier wheelies and a lot more fun, because that's kind of the goal for this thing. I'm going to be about $1,000 in once this is done. I just graduated high school today, I really have no idea why I'm doing this, but... It's been a fun project and a good learning experience. Now, we've been moving in and out of places a whole bunch of times because the downstairs of our house is still being built. And that's where my room was, but since we had to stain the floors, I had to move out of there. So I'm currently sleeping upstairs. Anyway, I had to move all of my factory stuff that I was for some reason using in my room into this shed, and I still have to run power out here to use it. However, I recently bought a spot welder for about a hundred bucks used so that I can make my own batteries. And I have been making them for friends for electric bikes. And this is an example. So these are some 18650 cells spot welded together with nickel strip. And this pack is only about a third done. But basically it's gonna be two or three times longer than this. And it'll be a 72 volt battery pack. So I bought the moped for $300, I 
spent about 300 on parts, spent another 100 on the jack shaft and all the chains, and I'm spending about $120 on batteries. Now, this project would have been twice as expensive if I didn't build my own batteries, buy straight from a factory in China for my motor, etc., etc. A battery for this should have been about $500 but I'm building it myself, so that saves a lot of money for sure. After this, I'm thinking about building an electric ultralight plane, which will be very dangerous, but that's kind of my profession. Building dangerous things is my profession, I guess. Anyway, so it's getting very, very close to done. If you like this idea and you wanna see it finished, I'm gonna have an epic video done once I've ridden this thing around and gotten some film. So make sure to subscribe, let me know what you think in the comments. I know the last videos I've done in this have only gotten like a couple hundred views. So I'm not out for attention, but I might look back on this in the future. I figure it I put it on YouTube just to share. So 72 volts, 3000 watts. I may buy a new controller and double the power. So we're looking at 6000 watts. At 3000, it should already hit about 50 miles per hour, depending on gearing, whatever I decide. At 6,000, it might hit about 80. We'll see, I have to find an open area where I can legally test it out. But it's very, very exciting. Not very many people do this. So I'm happy to have the ability to at home. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned, I'll see you later.